Good morning, everyone. Praise be Jesus and Mary. I am Ms. Melody A. Ritazo, the Library Coordinator, and this morning, I will be orienting you on the resources and services that are available in the library. The following are the contents for this presentation. First, the library staff, virtual tour of the library, how to access the online catalog, and what are the available online databases and the online services. First, the library staff. Graduate school librarian, Annabel P. Acedera. The library coordinator, Melody A. Retazo. Collections and processing librarian, Sterling C. Platino. Senior high librarian, Sheila May D. Lianda. Reference and User Services Assistant, Chriselle Naabot. Collections and Processing Clerk, Rosalita Montejo. AV in Charge, Eric Butad. And the Grade School Library in Charge, Roldan Amolato. Virtual Tour of the Learning Commons. This is how the physical library looks like. The college library is called Learning Commons opened last August 2, 2013, the first in Visayas and Mindanao. Why is it called Learning Commons? Because it's a one-stop shop that caters to the diverse needs of the 21st century learners. The first picture is the Learning Commons facade. The second picture is the concierge, which serves as a focal point of contact, taking care of students and faculty of the school with their academic needs and providing the needed information sources and services. The third picture is the seminar room. It's a space used for meetings, trainings, and orientation sessions. Adjacent to the seminar room is the net zone. A space for individual study is called Carrel, located at the first floor of the library. Tutorium is used by students and faculty for their consultation. A space for group study is called collaboratory. The library has two collaboratory rooms. In between the collaboratories is the coffee station. And the last picture is the reading area of the second floor. I know you are all excited to use the learning spaces but as of now, the library is physically closed. The library has subscription to four online databases which can be accessed 24-7, anytime, anywhere, as long as you have internet connection. A separate session will be conducted by the librarians on the use of the online databases. The first database is Gales and Gage Learning. It includes articles with full text, abstracts, citations, as well as ebooks and videos. The database is intended for students and faculty in the integrated basic education and college. The second database is the ProQuest. Includes scholarly journals, magazines, and dissertation in all subject areas. The database is intended for students and faculty in the higher education department. The third database is the Emerald Publishing. It includes scholarly journals, magazines, and dissertation in the subject areas of hospitality, tourism management, and library studies. This database is intended for students and faculty in the college and graduate school. The fourth database is the World Book Online. It includes journal articles, ebooks, educator tools, audio clips, and downloadable videos on various disciplines covering the social sciences, humanities, health-related sciences, and contemporary issues. This database is intended for students and faculty in the integrated basic education and college. If you want to search titles available in the library, you can search our online catalog. Just remember the URL, tinyurl.com slash library online catalog. 
Searching the online catalog is very easy. Just type the URL and click the Lourdes College hyperlink. In the online catalog, you can perform several searches. You can perform keyword search, title search, author search, and subject search. To search title, just type the title, for example, Understanding the Self, and click Title. The following are the search results. In the search results, you can select the title that you want to read and then copy the call number. Although the library is physically closed, the library offers the following online services. First, Ask a Librarian, Library Research Assistance or what we call Lira, Book Borrowing, Library Scanning, Open eBooks Alert, and Information Literacy Sessions. First, ask a librarian service. If you have any concerns, please feel free to ask the librarians through email and chat messenger. The email address of the library is learningcommonslc at gmail.com. So that you will know updates from the library, please like and follow our official Facebook page that is at Learning Commons LC. For your research needs, ask Lira or Library Research Assistance. To access Lira, please take note of the URL, tinyurl.com slash asklira. If you will request research assistance, the library requires you of your personal details. This includes your complete name, email address, the contact number is optional, and then department, program, and your designation. After you have entered the required fields, you will be asked then what kind of assistance do you need. For example, you need assistance to library resources. After that, you have to specify what type of resource do you need. Is it ebooks, videos, e-journals, and books? After you have specified the type of resources, you need to indicate the titles or topics. For example, ebooks, developing self skills books, understanding the self, e-journals, emotion management, and videos on life skills. You will be asked also if the video is downloaded or just the links. After that, click submit. Expect a response within one to two working days or longer in cases of multiple requests. Book borrowing for students will start on August 17. So here's how. First, you need to search for the title of the book using the library online catalog. Second, send request through Lira. And then third, you will be notified when the books are ready for pickup. Books can be picked up outside the entrance door of the Learning Commons. And then you will be asked to sign the book receipt and leave it on the table. The receipt indicates your name, the titles of the book, and its due date. For the due date, you have to return the books exactly on the specified due date in the receipt. To return books, place the books with a book receipt for each book in the book return box found at the entrance door of the Learning Commons. And then an email will be sent confirming the return of the books. Another service that we will offer starting August 3 is the library scanning. The service is available to Lourdes College community. Scanning request applies only to books and journals that are available in the Learning Commons. Normal extra limits pursuant to fair use. This means that up to one chapter of a book or 10% of the total, whichever is greater, and up to one article from one journal issue or 10% of the total, whichever is greater.
avail of the library scanning service, here's how. First, you need to browse for the title of the book or journal using the library online catalog. Second, send request through Lira. Third, an email will be sent confirming the request as well as the table of contents so that the library user can choose the specific chapter or article needed. Fourth, when the digital file is available, an email notification will be sent with a link for downloading. The library provides open ebooks alert where free downloadable ebooks are posted every week in the Learning Commons Facebook page. A training on the use of Destiny Online Catalog is scheduled August 2020. Next session is on the use of Destiny Quest that will be on October 2020. For the grade 12 students, a training on the use of World Book Online is scheduled on September 2020. Same also for the Gale database that will be on September 2020. For your attendance in this library orientation, kindly fill out the LC Patron form. The URL is tinyurl.com slash form. In the form, the following details will be asked. Last name, first name, email address, department, designation, program, and birth date. For today's session, if you are grade 11, kindly use the code G11. If you are grade 12, kindly use the code G12. A message from your Learning Commons staff. Kapag kailangan mo ng impormasyon, wag mahihiyang magtanong. If you have any concerns, please feel free to ask the librarians through Facebook or through our email address. That would be all. Thank you very much for listening and stay safe, everyone. Bye!